From the 2003 SARS outbreak to the COVID-19 pandemic, what are the lessons we can learn for wider healthcare reform? As the COVID-19 epidemic in January and February of 2020 reached global pandemic proportions by March, millions are feeling not only the unprecedented health impacts, but the growing financial and economic pressures with the impending global recession such a pandemic brings. In our award-winning 2018 report, Fit for Purpose, a health system for the 21st century, we proposed a person-centred, primary care-led, integrated health system for Hong Kong. Key reforms should aim to improve family medicine and community health services, so patients can get earlier treatment and care in the community, preventing chronic diseases to reduce secondary and tertiary care in hospitals, which are often already overburdened. It is increasingly clear that with COVID-19, this proposed person-centred, primary care-led, integrated healthcare system is not just essential for preventing chronic conditions and better managing chronically ill patients in the community, but also crucial in controlling infectious disease outbreaks, in allowing potentially infectious cases to be detected and contacts traced earlier on in the community, and also ensuring testing is done quickly and is well coordinated with comprehensive treatment and effective care, delivered safely and efficiently with the help of integrated patient records and information systems. All this will help prevent spread of infections and the society to recover more quickly, without overburdening hospitals which could result in the collapse of the healthcare system itself. It is also clear there needs to be a balance between healthcare and economic priorities in any epidemic control and recovery process. Almost all countries' economies have suffered due to COVID-19 social distancing, business closures and societal lockdowns, which are understandably necessary to prevent further spread of infections. However, this time, Hong Kong has struck a balance with early, timely, targeted closures as and when needed without any total lockdowns, thus minimising impact on the economy. The multidimensional effects of this COVID-19 pandemic highlight the importance of having a strong, unified healthcare system. Perhaps with COVID-19, one conclusion is clear. The public health is not simply a healthcare concern for health professionals, but is a global security issue we all share creating an environmental and economic sustainability challenge for all in the 21st century. As globalisation may give rise to more outbreaks in the future, but pandemics can be prevented. So we must all continue to do our own part in improving not only our own health, but also the health of our local communities, societies and nations in the world we all share. If you'd like more information about the work of our healthcare research team, please subscribe to our channel.